Okay, so we're on our friend's boat here. You can see the post. I'm gonna replace it starting today. It looks in great condition if you look at it straight up front here. And then you go to the side, it's actually broken. It's actually cracked in half, more than half on both sides. Again, we got a post here that is about to fail. And uh, yep, starting replacement today. Okay, so what we did, we cut with the side cutter and then attach the rope here on the gusset. Put the towel here just to protect if it popped. And then we passed it through the hole on the bottom here, right? And all the way back on the back of the davit and then to the winch. With the pressure on, with a lot of hammering, it just popped. All good. Okay, you can see here we have um, the famous plywood that you need to remove and replace with a solid fiberglass plate. You can see it right here. You can see the compression. So the weight actually deflects towards uh, towards the back of the boat and then eventually bends all this section, all the backrest. That's why a lot of boats get deformed in the corners here and everywhere. Again, you can see here, a little bit hard to see, but this is actually going downwards in this one too. So to all the 450 owners out there, this is compression post that we just uh, finished removing from a 450. You can see the base compared to some that you might have seen or even your boat, it's in very good shape, right? It looks like it doesn't need to be replaced. You look at the post, you say, well, yeah, we don't need to replace this. No. You do this. You notice here? That's not just rust. That's actually open. That's actually broken. And it's not a cut that I did. This is this is how it was. It's pretty much 90% broken. It's completely broken. Look. It's no joke. When you inspect, it's really important to take the roof section off in the galley and go check top where the weld is. And please don't let anybody tell you that it's normal maintenance. This is a defect, a manufacturing defect. And that's the, the only way you can look at this. It's, it's a design flaw from Lagoon, period. Nothing else. So we are on a port version. So this is next to the stairs, right, in the cockpit. We managed to remove the cabinet without any damage except for one little chip on one corner, one side. We'll be able to fix that. So we're in here. We notice that the, the lagoon glue is broken there. We're going to epoxy all that in this whole joint and then the top there. I'm going to do this part too, but you also notice this. This is all broken, so we're gonna epoxy this joint. So progress report here. We're gonna be putting the post on top. And uh, today uh, we're cutting all the fiberglass cloth. And we'll probably be tabbing everything in. Why? Because, because the plate is ready. 
the plate has uh, had had uh, it's gonna have like 24 or 30 hours have hardened we're gonna cut that for the gossets and the plate that goes underneath compression post we also had this section prepared still got well I removed the glue as you can see I removed all the glue that was there everything was broken all the way up on top on the bottom too and now all that needs to be done is the grinding for the prep work so we got to remove all the gel coat we got to remove the glazing not glazing but the shiny part of the wood so that the epoxy will adhere to it and do the, that joint the joint on top but the grinding will keep for another day because we still need to remove the propane locker access underneath and go remove the glue and then grind all that section too because we're going to be doing the whole sliding door section big job so compression post is in so yeah the shims obviously everything's in not bolted in yet because we just finished laminating all this okay so today we're going to be grinding so i got the orbital the orbital is only for the wood because we got some wood to grind here because as you can see this is where the brake is in the cockpit compartment so this crack is usually what you want to inspect on your own boat on the 450s this is where it cracks or here on the bottom part so the orbital i have a 80 grit on it it's just to rough up the wood because before we epoxy we always rough up the wood we're going to do this whole joint from this side all the way to the other side and we rough up the wood with the 80 grit and then I have a grinder with a 24 or a 36 grit to remove all the gel coat, the paint and the gel coat on the bottom where we're gonna be applying epoxy all the way from about here, going up, laminating all the way to here. So all gel coat or paint has to be removed. I'm also removing the plexus, the original glue. I'd rather put epoxy paste here than have uh, the original glue. So this is a sports stop, right? So the sports has this compartment here that I've shown you before. And uh, same thing here, we plasticized everything. Yeah, we, I didn't show it on the other one. Well, see this one fell off overnight. I'm gonna fix that before we start grinding because we don't want the dust to go all over the boat. It's all sealed up everywhere because we're gonna be again grinding all this and the top part i'm gonna be epoxying it all in and then propane locker just to give you an idea i gotta go into that hole i don't really fit but i gotta i figure it out fix that joint because you can see it's opened up it's cracked on the bottom it's opened up that that the two panels are separated so if we epoxy this and there's still movement obviously the joint on the wall is gonna open up so we're gonna do that joint also and then this joint it's not broken so we call it reinforcement we're going to do all the way down again plastic plastic all Let's over the dry. place tomorrow we're going to re-drill here because since we added gossets the original holes don't fit anymore because they're right where the new gossets are originally these are not there so these holes you can use but now we're gonna put some on the sides that will be tomorrow let's go see the rest this compartment we did yesterday we did the top all the way down bottom part there bottom part there and then the junction also the junction there at the top let's go see in here propane locker propane locker is done we did the corner all the way up the junction all the way up also and then the bottom part and then we also did this compartment the floor is now epoxied to the deck in this part i did put some peel ply just so that there's less sanding because this whole compartment the owner is gonna put some bilge paint on it so putting peel ply that way you don't have to sand the epoxy before applying uh, the epoxy primer because so if you ever want to inspect your sliding door bulkhead we're in the aft port cabin so we had to pull this white panel out this white panel basically you got to put something underneath and pull 
it's all velcro as you can see and it slides out from the top panel a little bit hard to do maybe you use an allen key you put the allen key underneath and then pull the allen key i have a small uh, stainless steel plate 116 thick and i just bent the edge so i put it under and with a plier pull on that little plate and it pops the panel then you have an access right here that access port will give you access so that you can go and see how broken your bulkhead is. But at this point, this one has been repaired. Also note that to access this compartment, you have to remove this tub that's right there. That's the propane locker. And the propane locker at the bottom has a drain and that drain can only be accessed by this port. So you have to remove this drain in order to be able to pull uh, the, this container out, the propane locker out. Okay, last view for this section. This is where the steering cables are. Remember this one is not a F but an S. So we epoxied all the way from the bottom all the way up. All the way over there. And then down lower part section panel to the bottom. And now we're closing it up. Let's have a look. Pipe is in. It's all screwed in. Epoxied. We're putting back this panel. It's more aesthetic than anything. I'm gonna be just glassing the edges there. All right, guys. Compression post is in. The ceiling panel is cut. The new cover is on. So now we put back the molding. But here's the issue. As you can see, we got almost a one-inch gap right here, and then the back panel is not going in. So this one's not too bad. All we got to do is cut about half inch or whatever uh, on the back of it, but I don't have a table saw. So we're going to have a local woodworker do it here. This one though is a problem because we got to back it up. So what we're going to do is use the side cutter and cut this molding very tight on this side too. cut the molding. We can actually put this piece here basically. So we're going to be removing, we're going to be removing this part here. Everything's in. That's it for me. Okay, so what we got? It fractured. It literally fractured. Yeah, it didn't rust, it fractured. It almost looked like like it almost looks like a cut. It's li literally fractured. It's fractured. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well now you know. Yep. <laughs>